Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I've got a great rack. I should have a choice of bingos here. I'm just going to run through the alphabet and see what comes to mind. I haven't seen anything instantly. Now there could be Farley's here. Let me just check this. Nope. Flairish, possibly. So, still not seen anything. Gosh, that looks promising. Well, still nothing has come to mind. So, Flairish was the one possibility I think I considered. And that's not good. So, what to do here? I'm fairly sure that there is a bingo here. It's a matter of how, how long I spend looking for it. That was a pretty fast run through the alphabet. It's possible that there isn't something here. I think I'll have another look. And I suspect there's, there's actually more than one bingo here. This looks a pretty decent set of tiles. I don't think failures is good. It's not. So is there an anagram here? Sixteen minutes on my clock. Sometimes you do need to spend a little longer on the opening move. If you play it too fast, you can repent at leisure. It's possible there isn't a bingo here. But my instinct is that there is. I don't think Foliar takes an S. Gosh, what a what a shame that looked such a great set of tiles. I'm just not seeing a bingo. Just thinking about Favrils, I think it's just Favrile. I think you can make too much use of the checking facility. Ah, oh, what about Frazils? I think I'm just going to go with this because I think it's good. Frazils. Finally, yes. Great start to the game with a bingo. Pretty ropey follow-up rack, but <coughs> that's okay. Excuse me. So what to do here? Well, I guess it's a case of maybe changing maybe playing through it i've got anoa and well i was looking to play underneath the z but of course the z is only a blank so it's worthless in terms of points now interesting spot i could play anoa beside the k that's going to stop one square short of row o 
can I do something in a in the same spot which perhaps doesn't take an S? And I was thinking of E O A N, but that that doesn't play. I do need to play off at least one A. So let me have a look at a no of twenty five points. I'm setting up a hot spot next to this A. I'm also opening up row O. But this is sorting the rack out quite nicely. I'm going with this. Not good. I draw more vowels and I have the Q. I do have the I to go with it. I could play just the Q next to the I of Ferked. But it would be nice to play off the I in order to reduce the preponderance of vowels. So I can play cheese in column 10 onto the S, that would be good. And it would also be taking out a pretty hot floater. I know it only takes an S at the end. Now I'm off to Malta this coming weekend for, for their big tournament, which I'm really looking forward to. And I've been to for the last three years. I've won twice and last year came second by the smallest of margins or nearly the smallest of margins, just five points. So I'm really looking forward to going back again. What it does mean is that my I need to record some games in advance to maintain my regular release schedule. Hence my work attire. Now 40 points for my opponent. Cheese for 32. Just checking that my opponent's provided nothing. He hasn't. So I'm a little behind on time. I've used up six minutes. I spent ages looking for that opening rack bingo, but delighted to have spotted it in the end. Certainly is worthwhile. The difference between that bingo and maybe an alternative non-bingo play of something like if is probably quite large, probably in the order of about 30 or 40 points. Now I have this rack. I'm thinking Leavener may be good. Let me check that. Yes, it is. So I have Leavener in column five, which is good. It's not an obvious spot for my opponent to play, and he doesn't play. He does get 57 points, however. Leavener for 72. And I'm playing this fairly quickly because I spent so much time on the opening move and because there are no obvious alternative floaters to consider for bingos. Not great, but not disastrous either. The rack could easily be sorted out by a play of though. And it's possible there could be could there could be an eight here. Now lovesome I think is good. Wow and look at this two L's on the board. If lovesome is good, it is unblockable. And it is good. Fantastic. What a great game. So I'm 80 points in the lead and I've got a guaranteed bingo on my rack. And the only thing which could spoil my joy would be my opponent to bingo now in, in row A. I don't think Lovesome has an anagram. Lovesome will... Certainly in column nine will be quite a volatile move. It'll be opening up another triple, triple lane in column, in row O. But if my opponent doesn't bingo now, I may be able to survive a triple, triple. So 16 minutes on my opponent's clock, 14 on mine. And a wide open board, column 11, available for plays with an eye. Still this hot spot next to the A of Anoa. But the X has gone, so that's not as, as hot as it could have been. So opponent got 57 for Ulex. He could have played XU for about 50. But the X is the big danger with this with this spot. 
Okay, opponent does bingo, but not hugely, not a triple-triple. So let me get Lovesome down for 65. Seven consonants, the first gloom in this game. However, plenty of vowels on the board. But it would be nice to play off more than just two tiles. I could play MEH in row B here, playing off just two for about 30 points, but then there's a, a very high risk of having six or seven consonants next turn. So every extra consonant I can play off this turn will be will be worth quite a lot. And ideally I'd play off four. So is farm good? I think it is. Yes, it is. So I can play that through the A for a decentish score. It's mainly sorting the rack out. It's splitting up the duplicate R's. It's playing off three of the far of the four high scoring tiles. So I like farm, and hopefully my opponent will be drawn to row E, row O rather through the E of Lovesome, and he is fantastic. And only thirty three points, a very average score, and I don't mean that disparagingly. It just is. 30, 30 points is about the average. If you think you play 12 moves a game, well, 12 33s are about 400, and 400 is an average score. So farm for, wow, 30 points. That's a little bit more than I was expecting. Just pausing because I did latch onto that rather quickly, and I'm just looking around the board to see if there's any other spots I've overlooked, and I don't think there are. There are. That looks a little better. Well, it's pretty non bingoy so if I'd been coming from a, a position of a bingoy rack, I'd probably be disappointed with this, but when you're coming from the misery of a seven constant rack, this is far more attractive. Now, O is a very nice tile to have with the J, just because of J-O and J-O-E and job, jaw and jot. So... A ton of short words on my rack. Do any of them play on the board? Well, I have Joe and Top in row B. I have a, a, only a 65-point lead, so there's a lot of action still to come in this game. 33 tiles to come, including a blank. So my lead isn't, isn't fantastic, and it would disappear if my opponent bingoed. The board's starting to tighten up a bit, though. Lob has by my opponent has taken out or obstructed four of the floaters in Lovesome. The U of Ulex not particularly useful in column one. Now can I do better than J-O? It would be nice to play Job just to get rid of the unbingoey B. Job is good but that doesn't score enough. K-A-O not good. So can I use the E of Lovesome? Not that I can see. So this isn't a great board for the J. I've got Jaw, but that's similar to Joe. It's just, it's keeping four consonants and one vowel. It's just not as nice as three consonants and a vowel. Through AM, I would have door jam. So where else on the board can I consider? Nothing goes between E and H. Can't get my J on the triple letter squares in row F, I don't think. Don John is good, but that would require two ends. I know it takes nothing in front, so I can't extend jaw in any way. Not that I have the tiles to do so in any event. Now, I had been looking at the E. I don't think I came up with anything, so I'm revisiting that. Well, I don't have anything with the J. I've got Reboot. 
but that wouldn't be good. Great, just 22 points for my opponent. And he's, well, he's provided a job spot. But it places the J next to this triple, to this double word square. So do I want to do that? And I don't have any longer J plays. Raid is good. Wow, do I want to play job? It's providing a huge scoring, well, a big-ish scoring spot and opening up a bingo lane. 12 minutes on my clock, 30 tiles to come. I'm still looking at this E in case there's something through it. So why don't I do this? Brood, 25 points. It's retaining the J as a good scoring tile. It's burning tiles, increasing my chances of drawing the blank, expediting the end of the game. And it's not providing a huge spot for my opponent. Yeah, I'm going with this. Okay. Quite balanced. non bingo -y. But I am a bingo ahead. I would have needed an N for Benj. Do I have anything in row C with the J doubled? Can't see anything. I've got Jow, but that stops one square short. Do I have anything in row F which gets the, the J tripled? Well, I have Jean, but that's keeping duplicate I. Not ideal. This hot spot next to the A of Anoa has remained open for most of the game and now suddenly doesn't seem quite so hot. Just the H and the Y could, well, and the W could go there, but they're only going to score low 30s, so not a big, not a massive scoring spot. I don't think I've got anything across from the B, which uses either the J or the P. Do I have anything running down the side of Brood? For example, beginning with P next to the O. Nope. Well, nothing better than PI. Might be worth considering since OI only takes an L or an S. And also pushing a bingo along to column 14 rather than column 13 is better for me because if my opponent bingo's there, he'll be opening up triple word squares. And PI keeps a nice balanced rack. So that might be worth doing. The only downs, or, well, one downside is the poor score. Only 18 points. I suspect I can do better than that. Through a U, I would have Dupati. Still three U's to come. I've got Jive through the V. That doesn't get the J tripled. So is there really nothing in row C? Not that I can see. Now, farm, I think, takes an A. But I can't get the J doubled. Now, opponent taking a while with this move. So, he could be close to a bingo. He could have that final blank. And I don't have a huge J play to come back with. I don't really want to hang on to the J for too long since the board is fairly dry in terms of J spots. It may well remain so. I could play J, A and tap, but I don't really like keeping the duplicate I, especially with three unseen. And even without three unseen, duplicate I isn't great. 
Wow, only 11 points. An opponent plays off two tiles. That suggests he's got a bingo -y rack. However, he hasn't opened up a new bingo lane. J-A-I is good. Does that play play anywhere? Don't think so. So, what about playing PI, given that my opponent... Well, this isn't a... Column 13 isn't a massive bingo lane, but there aren't a huge number of bingo lanes. The better one is row K through the E of loves, lovesome. But I can't see a way of playing through that and scoring anything. Anything decent? This doesn't feel great. Less than 20 points, keeping a preponderance of vowels. But look, only two A's and two E's to come. Only 10 vowels out of 30. That changes the decision making. I'm now happy with this rat cleave. Not great. Well, I, I now have Jan in row F for 27, keeping E-I-N-T, so that's that's quite nice. And I have Benj. Great, keeping Anti. I hope I didn't have that last turn. Maybe I did. Okay, well, we'll see that. Or maybe I've just drawn two N's or an E. But I do have Benj this turn, for sure. And that'll be 39 points. Still 21 tiles to come. This uh, this game has not gone quickly. Well, it, isn't, it doesn't feel like it's gone quickly. Sometimes the bag has very few tiles left in it. When you're really starting to notice, but that's not the case this, this game. And it's surprising because I did have three early bingos, so maybe that just made me think that the game was going to be over quicker than it was. I guess since then, things have slowed down. Well, I hope I didn't miss Benj last go, since I have previously mentioned it. And it's a big score. However, should Benj be blocked, I do have, have Jan. I have Janet through the E, but then that's setting up a bingo lane for bingos ending in S. And look at this, two S's and a blank to come. Despite the the vowel shortage, well, apart setting aside the vowel shortage, there are a lot of bingo tiles in the bag. And certainly my opponent's play of GU suggests you may have a decent selection of them. Now my lead is 75 points, so a bingo would pretty much bring my opponent level. Just looking for other spots for my J. It will be good to, to get rid of it since it pretty much reduces my bingo prospects to zero. So, Benj for 39. Benj for 39. That looks quite nice. Egyptian through a P. Do I have anything through V, E or, or S? Nothing with the V that I can see. Nothing with the E. No P's to come. And, well, there could be something through the S, but I'm not seeing it. I'm glad to see the Y. That's a nice, a nice scoring tile. So I've got NY and NY around Teletron. I'm 90 points ahead. Great. No bingo by my opponent. And he's burnt off a ton of tiles. I mean, and look, no E's to come. That is good. I don't have any hooks for fence. 
if I play NY, I'm diminishing the value of the G. Have I considered all bingo lanes on this board? There's the U. I think Pi N Gadu may exhaust my eight letter plays ending U. Now there's the N. Not seeing anything through that. And there's the E of Levener. Not seeing anything there. Now, should I play off tiles to expedite the end of the game? I could do that with gaiety. Or do I take the view that I've got a bingo rack and I can play something like NY? I quite like playing NY. Or do I? Fence has set up a really hot bingo lane in column 13. I think I need to do something about that. And I think gaiety. So can I spell? I think there's only one available spelling that I got with this rack. And I'm retaining the E, which is good. So gaiety 24, not quite as much as NY 28. But I'm only sacrificing four points. And I'm really spoiling column 13 as a bingo lane and expediting the end of the game. So I think this is a much better play. Great, that could have been a lot worse. A balanced rack, no duplicates. And I've drawn the, the other Y, so I've still got the NY opportunity underneath Teletron, which is good. Remaining tiles, only the W and C scoring more than two points. My lead still only 90 points, so it's not over yet. If my opponent bingos, he'll be emptying the bag. I think he'd be pretty fortunate to be able to bingo twice. Now I've got NY in two different spots, so I've got a guaranteed nearly 30 point play. There could be a bingo here. Not seeing it with either the E or the N. And I guess playing NY is the better spot next turn because it will take out these two floaters. Do I have a longer play? Possibly. Maybe a play beginning THGA, something like that. Well, I have yeah, Y-E-A-H. That effectively does take out both floaters. I can't see a way of playing the Y and the H on these two triple letter squares. I've got Hoi Nye on my rack as a six, H-A-U-Y-N-E. Now, opponent opens up bingo lanes. So there are now bingo lanes through the I and the T and also through the E and the N. There are four tiles left. I think what I'll do is play around Levener to take out two bingo lanes and to leave one in the bag. So I can do that with yeah for 33. Not great, but I'm 110 points in the lead and my opponent has got this rack, which is not massively bingo -y. I'm not seeing anything through through the I or the T. Okay, there is a play there. Wildcats, great spot by my opponent. So he's now 26 points behind. He's got a U. So I think this game is, is won. It's hard to imagine... A big U play. And I certainly can't see one on this board. So I'm seven minutes on my clock. I've got quite a lot of time. Do I have a play in column 15, a four-letter play? Well, I do. I have Tain. 22 points. I'm keeping 
Suey. Well, my opponent's going to go out, I think. Let me just check that he's got two spots for the U. He's got MU and NU. So he's certainly going out. I don't need to worry about my rack leave. Is there anywhere better than where I played or anywhere I can score more than 22 points? Just looking around the board. I don't think so. And this gets the job done. So just wait for my opponent to play, play his U for not very much. Just two minutes on his clock. And the final score, 423 to my opponent, 461 to me, a winning margin of 38 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. So it was me to go first. I saw Frazzles. What else was there? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's not con conclusive. It's possible there are other bingos, but it's possible that there aren't either. So anyway, delighted to have found Frazzles, especially when you're going through the alphabet, and even more so when you're going through the alphabet twice for the the bingo to a r result from the final letter that you're looking at. Quite, easy, quite often you just rush the final X, Y, Zs, but in this case there was a bingo with the Z. Now, opponent's rack, that looks quite nice. No bingo. Plays furked. And I struggle here. K5. Well, Aeon is the same as Anoa in the sense that they both take an S. And I prefer A double E as a rack leave. Opponent, no bingo. Plays gaze. I have a vowel heavy rack or another vowel heavy rack. QI38. I don't think I played that. QI and KAI. Okay, so I was six points behind by playing here, but I am taking out the S floater, but providing a nice scoring spot in column 11, so probably QI and KIA slightly better. Opponent's rank, he's got textural through the A, which would have been blocked by QI. Interesting. He doesn't see it, he plays ULEX. Now I have Levener for 72. Opponent has Teletron. Nice spot. And I have Lovesome. Opponent's rack. He plays Lob. And at this point, I'm 35 points ahead. But I've got seven consonants. And I like Farm. Definitely a priority to play off four, four out of the seven if you can. Opponent's rack, he plays aid. I thought about job. I didn't like placing the J next to this double word square. So I went with with brood. Bood also playable. Ah, but bood. Bood and raid. Okay, for 27. Instead I played brood for 25. Opponent's rack, no bingo, but a nice rack. He plays goo. Okay, so I don't have an N for Benj. This go. Add G, 8C. Ah, and Farmer, quite nice. 31 points and a decent rack lead. I think I would have played that if I'd seen it. Yes, PI looks a bit, a bit lame in comparison. Opponent plays Woe, and yes, I did pick up two Ns. So Benj for 39. And at this point, I am 90 points ahead. So I'm in, I'm in good shape, but still 16 tiles, including the blank to come. Opponent's rack. He plays fence. So what did he play fence from? Actually, I'm going to hop back a couple of moves. I'm, I want to see what he played goo from. Right, so he played goo, keeping E-I-N-O-T, which in the context of a vowel dry bag is not bad so it was a fishy move but 
not as massively fishy as if he had an S or a blank. So where did we get up to? I played Benj. Opponent plays Fence. Myra. Great. I didn't miss a bingo there. N1. Yes. Wow. 39 points and a decent rack leave. Now I play Gaiety. And although it's 15 fewer points, I prefer it over Yes because it is taking out a hot bingo lane. And my opponent has signaled that he's close to a bingo. And you can see his rack here. He's he's got a twister, so Gaiety did did block a bingo. Opponent plays grit. Now I still have yes, but I play I didn't see it, and in any event I'm in the business of blocking bingo lanes. Opponent, great spot of wild cats. But not quite enough. He's twenty six points behind, and he's only got one tile. And I play, well, one of these plays for 22 points. Yeah, and the best play, not very much better, if at all. And that was the end of the game, and 461 points on the board. So a pretty exciting game, off to a great start, a very um, slow start, only in respect to spending something like three or four minutes looking for frazzles. But I think this really illustrated the, illustrated the importance of of spending that time if you if you think there is a good chance of having having a bingo a bingo start is always a, a great start to the game puts your opponent on the back foot and it was followed up by two more bingos in lovesome and Levener, which gave me a lead but not a big enough lead to relax my opponent was always one bingo behind and he did have the blank and he did bingo in the end but i was able to to eke out the win and um Pretty exciting stuff. So I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.